Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Steam Deck and its various storage options and some news about the upgradability of its solid state drive. So when we first had a look at the Steam Deck, we were presented with three different options. We have the 64 gigabyte eMMC storage, which is a slower type of solid state drive. And then we have the NVMe drives here, the 256 gigabyte and the 512 gigabyte NVMe drives. So the 256 one is supposed to be a faster storage device. And then the 512 gigabyte version is the fastest storage device. So typically, solid Solid state drives are faster when there is more storage available. That's because uh, more of the chips can be accessed at one time. So typically they run much faster. So one of the questions has been, is this storage actually upgradable? Is the eMMC storage actually soldered in? Or is it something that we can add an NVMe drive to? If I have the 256 or the 512, can I upgrade them later? The messaging that we've had so far from Valve is answered in the Steam Deck FAQ from IGN. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. So what Valve is saying in this IGN Steam Deck FAQ is that the internal storage is not upgradable, but you can expand storage with SD cards. And what I've said in my previous video is that this micro SD card slot is probably fine for most games, especially indie games. You could buy up to say like a one terabyte micro SD card and you'll expand your storage massively. You'll be able to install some really large games on here as well. Some multiplayer games or some games that rely on fast storage would be better installed on an internal drive. The micro SD slot is going to support most users needs, especially if they're you know installing smaller indie games on it too. However, on the Steam Deck subreddit, this user called Midnight Watch has actually emailed Gabe Newell himself. So if you didn't know about this. Gabe Newell has a public email address. Anyone can just email him and he normally doesn't reply, but sometimes he'll give very glib kind of short answers as well. So here this user is asking, is the SSD actually replaceable? Is it soldered into the main board or is it difficult to get to? They don't want to use SD cards for expandability. They want to use a faster solid state drive internally as well. So Gabe is saying that the Steam Deck has a 2230M2 slot. So the 2230 is a kind of not very popular size for this M2 size solid state drive. So what's interesting is that in another email to Gabe Newell, they're asking whether this M2 SSD slot is also present in the $399 base model with the eMMC storage and Gabe Newell saying yes. So basically what it means is that all of these units can actually be upgraded with the NVMe drive. So this clarifies quite a few things because lots of people have actually made the purchasing decision for 512 gigabytes of storage based on the idea that they wouldn't be able to upgrade the storage because it might be soldered in. And equally as well, I made the decision to buy the 256 because I thought that I would probably be able to upgrade it. And for the 64 gigabyte eMMC, MMC version, I was concerned that they would use a soldered on memory in order to save cost and not offer the M2 slot. And these fears have been unfounded because now it turns out that the £349 version or whatever price it is in your local region is actually able to run a 2230 NVMe drive. So on a website like Amazon, you'll find the 2280 size NVMe drives. You can get a 512 for £70 and these are pretty reputable solid state drives. They will run quickly. However, these won't fit into the Steam Deck. We'll need to use the 2230 size and these are much less common. So what you find is that if you try to search for a 2230 size NVMe drive, it's actually quite hard to find. You'll find some SATA drives on Amazon, but they're relatively rare because it's not a common form factor. So if you go on websites like Newegg, you'll probably find some Toshiba ones. I'm not sure actually how fast these are, $140. Western Digital also sell them, but obviously not very popular at the moment. The 2242 size is a bit more common. And for example, here we've got a £133 Dell NVMe drive, which is 2230. The price should be about £70. So the Steam Deck is about five or six months away from release. So I do expect some more manufacturers to make 2230 size uh, NVMe drives. So I do hope that they come out at this kind of similar price range. And if we can get, say, a £70 solid state drive, then it makes this kind of calculation a little bit different because it means that we can buy the base model and for about £70 or so, or however much a solid state drive 2230 size will cost in about six months time, we can possibly upgrade to a 512 for the same price as, say, a 256. So this is really quite interesting and it makes it kind of crazy that we can actually buy something so kind of powerful and novel at such a low price. This has now been officially confirmed on the actual Steam Deck website. So this little addendum here saying that the models now use 2230M2 slots, which are not intended for end user replacement. This information is now on the website. All of the models, they remind us, can still use the micro SD slot, but obviously the 2230 will be much faster. So anyway, this makes the Steam Deck a very exciting proposition because it means that even for the base model of cost, we can now have a relatively high amount of storage. And say in a year's time, we might have one terabyte storage options available, two terabyte storage options available. So the dream of owning a device that can portably hold a large proportion of somebody's Steam library is coming ever and ever closer. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you do find any solid state drives that are 2230 size and are available to buy that are relatively cheap and fast, please let me know. Please leave a comment if you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.